Where did you say he'd meet us? Uh... You don't recall where he said he'd meet you? He said he'd look for you. Maybe you should try looking for him around let's, town. Let's, let's go find Sugar. Clovis, you can also start moving the token around. So, yeah, you'll start I'm moving sure. through the old camp, which you see of this collection of huts and wooden buildings that seem to be close to being destroyed, ruins almost. Uh, buildings that clearly have been built by people with no architectural or, or engineering skills. But nonetheless, they, they work, they shelter the people they cover. There's hundreds of convicts walking around with dirt on their faces and their hands calloused from work, sweat dripping down their faces after working so much, whether in the darkness or in the day daylight, danning and dying and doing all the sorts of stuff that the old cam needs to keep itself maintained. Alrighty boys, let's, uh, let's go find Sugar. What on earth is in this card here? Huh? You stop over there, over by the cage there. You see uh, a lurker. It's a big reptilian creature with a dozed look to its face, a sleepy look to its face. A big bearded man is right next to the cage bars and whispering, ah, Just a little bit more, boy. I know you want to say it. And to your surprise, the creature rises and, and makes a sound. Actually training a lurker. Well, is that I even told possible? you. I truly think it's listening to me. Every time I say something... Look! Look in the eyes! Look in its eyes, the little bugger! It has life. More life than this damned buffoon next to me. To which the convict says, Hey, shit, sorry, Siobhan. Was just looking. And he walks away. You've got your eyes in, Malekar? Wanna steal it or something? Hmm? No. I have no use for a lurker. Their hides aren't even any good for armor. So I've got no use for it. Well, I wouldn't even have you thinking you could skin up my little love here and put it on your nasty rank body. Though to be fair little with you, even if love. you'd steal my lurker, you couldn't handle it. Anytime you'd come close to the bars that it spit so much acid on you it'd burn your flesh away. I just burned the cart. You do indeed see that the wooden cart has patches that have been burnt out of it. You also see particularly that Siobhan's armor, the breastplate, seems to have been eroded a bit. Siobhan, you know that you should get that armor touched up a bit, right? I'll stop by Harold sometime. Smart of you. Maybe try to get a... I heard the uh, the tailor had a crocodile hide chest plate that was uh, semi poison proof. Maybe stop by there and take that off his hands. Poison proof, eh? Not something I... that interests me. I'd rather have thick steel to protect it against the blows of those who are stupid enough to go against Siobhan. Yeah, but if you're gonna be dealing with a lurker. You need something to fight against poison and acid. It ain't just like that, Clovis. I've heard stories of men from Shedham learning how to ignore poison by injecting it in their veins. So, if I just oh, take boy. this acid over and over, my skin should learn to fight it. That's what life's taught me so far. And he hits his chest with a mailed fist. It clanks like a kitchen. Alright. I just hope you don't die doing something you're gonna regret. While everyone's speaking, I'm just really intrigued by this very strange creature. I'm sort of putting my face right up against the bars and tapping my fingers. Duncan, Duncan, huh? not against the bars. It will <laughs> spit acid at you. Okay. And it does indeed spit a glob of acid. Duncan, please roll me a vade. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh, that was close. That was close, though. <laughs> the creature spit is at you. You very narrowly sidestep at a big glob of burning phlegm. It lands on the ground, sears away at the dirt. Siobhan starts laughing, says, Told you, my little boy don't like no one but me touching him. Well, and even me sometimes. You think he wants to marry that thing? It's more like Do a not... pet to him, I think. <laughs> Do not or think a about son. It. Just move on. Move on. Sugar! Oh, you see oh, that? God. 
you see the young boy, Sugar, there, uh, a, a young yeah. adult. He has this naive look in his face, and he says, Oh, there you are. I've been looking Thank for you. you all this time. Are you ready to go? I couldn't sleep that well, truth be told. Been having some nightmares. Uh, that'll be fixed up. Just come on, let's uh, let's head out to this uh, this yeah. cabin or whatever. I'm sure it will. The fire Sugar. lord's always got our back, doesn't he? Exactly. You'll be sleeping like a baby after today. You feel like you've accomplished so much. You can kick your feet up and start to rest. Yeah. Maybe pray to him before you go to bed if you haven't been already.